and welcome back to another video. We're starting this week's vlog, driving up to the home store and more. My mammy's with me today. Um, we, and I've also just went and bought stick on nails because I'm doing a nail appointment on Friday. Um, you gonna go over there? In the park? Oh, yeah, I'm just looking. Um, I'm doing a wee nail appointment on Friday um, and yeah, I picked all my nails off forgetting that I was coming to this today and I'm going to be showing you guys bits and bobs on my stories and things and yeah, the nails weren't looking cute. So I went and got some wee stick-ons and they actually look from a distance look great nice but my hands are also very pale but that's fine. I did mention in one of my other vlogs that I was coming up to the home store and more for a little visit and a little shop around. Um, so that is exactly what we are doing today. We've just pulled up and I'm going to go in and have have a little look. I'm looking for some more storage and yeah, just excited to see what they have in store. hours later now I've been back from my little visit at the home store and more for quite a while. It's a nice time in at the East Kilbride shop. Definitely recommend if you, especially if you're moving into your first home or anything like that, like the shop is so well laid out. Basically there's a section for every room in your home so as you move around the shop like one minute you're in bathroom and everything you can need for especially if like I said you are moving into your first home and you're starting from scratch you've got everything that you need. Anything that you can think of the home store will have it. And yeah I had a lovely time in there shopping and browsing about and picking up quite a lot that you can probably see at the side already. I have shown these bits on my Instagram story but I thought I would do a wee haul on here as well just in case you watch my YouTube but you don't follow me on Instagram or you know vice versa. So like I said I've been back for quite a few hours now. I had quite a lot of admin to get done when I came home. Also had to shoot this little tracksuit that I've got on which is super comfy by the way. It's from Missy Empire and what a nice colour for coming into the summer. I've also just started editing this vlog because what I think I'm going to try and do is edit my vlogs as I go. Like every couple of nights I'll just sit down and edit at the footage just so that you don't end up being too long and yeah I know kind of what I've filmed because sometimes during the week I forget what I have and haven't filmed but without any more chatting I'm going to show you what I picked up so I'll start with this since it's right in front of me I seen this water bottle and I just quite like things that are quite aesthetic looking and to me that is quite an aesthetically pleasing water bottle. Basically I'm going to be going back to gym classes this week and um, I've got, I'm supposed to actually have a spin class this morning and my phone keeps doing this do not disturb thing where my alarm doesn't go off and it's doing my head in. I woke up 10 minutes too late to get to the spin class on time and I hate rushing so yeah that went out the window this morning but I will be going back this week and next week so um, I got a nice new water bottle to give me the motivation to go. Then we'll move on to probably what I was most excited about. Not only do these look gorgeous, smell unreal but the home store also have a kind of half price deal going on just now um, on all of their candles and diffusers so this was £3 something I'm sure. I was actually really surprised at the price because it smells very expensive and it looks really expensive as well so I actually got one for my brother and his girlfriend Fiona. They are buying their first house so I picked up another wee present for them as well um, just because I want to get them some wee bits. I'm not keeping these to give them as their moving in gift and um, I'll get them something else but I just thought that smells nice and I'll get them one. Um, I also got my mum one as well because she did. Okay, I can't for the life of me get the little stopper out of this so that I can put the reeds in. And I've just ended up losing like four of the stick on nails that I put on and getting the diffuser in my mouth. Which I don't think is very safe. Um, but I'll just show you like this just now. How gorgeous is that bottle? I just love things that are really simple looking um, and very minimalist. Um, I think that makes it look more expensive. Like I said, this was very inexpensive. The smell off of this is unreal. It's in the same black forest and we were talking about it when we were in and I think it smells like ghost perfume. Now if you're old enough to know what ghost perfume is then 
you know what I'm talking about. So if you are in the vicinity of a home store and more, I believe there's a shop in Edinburgh and also the one in East Kilbride, definitely go up and pick up one of these because they smell amazing and like I said, I think it was £3 something. So stock up on them because they're half price at the minute. Well, my mum has literally just texted me just now saying, by the way, that diffuser smells amazing. Put it in the big living room just now. There you go. There you go, Linda herself has given it her seal of approval, but honestly it does, it smells amazing, so definitely recommend you go and get your hands on one. I think I mentioned that they have a half price sale on their candles and diffusers at the minute, so I got another one of these, I keep saying St Mason, but I think it's St Maison. This is actually the candle here, I brought this one out because um, I have this sitting in the hallway just now. I did actually have it in the living room as well, I've moved it about quite a lot but oh my goodness, do you know what it smells like? It smells like a sexy man, like that is the only way to describe this. It smells like a mix of really nice shower gel, topped with a nice deodorant and then a really really nice aftershave. I just love again how minimalist it is, the fact that the candle's a matte black finish I'm all here for and then it has a little lid that you can sit on it so it actually looks like this. So I've seen that they also have these candles in pink and yellow and I think there was like a kind of navy blue as well. I was so tempted to pick up the pink one because it just was screaming summer to me and it was really gorgeous but I don't have anywhere in the house that's like got any pink or any pops of pink so I decided not to pick it up it also smelled really nice but instead I got another one of these and I've actually picked this up for my brother and Fiona and um, because I think it's such a nice little gift and like I said it smells amazing you smell this as soon as you come into my house like I have it sitting on the radiator cover just as you come in the door and as you walk past it you can smell it and then see when it's burning it's honestly just such a nice scent and they're currently half price. So this candle was $4.99 and it's also in the scent Boston um, just for reference. Before I move on to storage I thought I would show you some of the kind of glassware mugs that I picked up. So I got a new mug because I have a mug obsession. I love the contrast of the kind of like matte against this kind of shiny ceramic. We were actually talking about this because it's one of those hug mugs where like it's designed for you to kind of wrap your hands around and sit and enjoy and be all cosy which I just love. Just before I talk to you about these tumblers, you'll have seen in the little clips before that I included some videos of the glass mugs that I have. Now, I got them from TK Maxx. It's the exact same make. I've never ever seen them in TK Maxx since. And a lot of you guys messaged me when I put up photos of my coffees asking where they're from. And I always say TK Maxx, couldn't ever find them online. Finally found them online, so I've been linking them for you. But online they're $7.99 and they were in the home store and more for $5.99 for the two of them. So just if you're interested in getting them, they have them in store. So they also have kind of smaller ones as well. So definitely worth a little visit because they had lots of nice mugs and glassware, including these ones that I picked up. So we all know that I love a nice little glass. I just thought this was really cute for doing iced coffees or like smoothies cocktails. I just thought these were really really cute and Chris is probably going to open the glass cupboard tonight and be like seriously Laura but what can I say I enjoy glassware. Again these were really well priced it was 4 99 for a pack of four. Now when you consider that my amazingly gorgeous cone shaped glasses that I always use and I love to bits they're from Zara they were 4 99 each so when you consider the price difference I had to pick these up. And then last but not least, I got some storage. So you'll have seen in the last couple of vlogs that I have been finishing off my dressing room and I got the big chest of drawers. Now, I did put all of my bits and bobs into the chest of drawers, but I've been looking for some storage just so everything can be a bit more organised. I picked up all of these. Um, the colour is grey, but it actually looks a lot more kind of taupe. So if you're looking for these in store, it, they come under grey. But I would say, again, they're a lot more taupe. I got quite a few different sizes of these. I got three of the smaller little baskets. I'm going to be putting my hair accessories in here. And then I got two of these kind of deeper, um, medium-sized baskets. I'm going to put, like, rollers and hair products and stuff in there. I think I'm actually going to head upstairs just now and start doing this organisation. So if I go up and do that, then I will, of course, vlog and show you how the storage ends up looking. I'm actually going to go upstairs now and I've got some packages upstairs like more clothes related and stuff that I'm going to show you so BRB and I'll show you them. I'm upstairs now and I've got some bits to put away but I'm going to give you a quick little haul of them because I've actually sat them at the side so that I can show you um, before
before I do put them away. Ignore the chair in the background. That has unfortunately become a chair that I dump things on. Um, it's actually the coat that I had on earlier which is from Fourth and the Reckless. I'm probably going to wear it again over the weekend and I'll give you a full length like look at it then because it's absolutely stunning. So yeah, just ignore that just now. First thing I want to show you is, is the New Balance that I was talking about in the last vlog. They finally arrived but I'd finished vlogging by the time that they had arrived. So these are the 530 New Balances and obviously they have the green and silver on them. They are now sold out on ASOS which is where I purchased them from but I was chatting about them the other day and apparently you can get them in shoe office and Foot Locker and there's differences in price and also certain places allow you to use your student discount if you're still a student so keep that in mind because I paid £90 and apparently um, they're like 85 80 elsewhere. I just knew these were going to sell out so I purchased them right away and I'm so glad I did because I only got them on Friday and I have had them on like three times since. Then I got a big package in from Sisters and Seekers. There's a lot of green in this package which is going to go with the trainers really well. I'm going to start with what's in these little bags. Told you there was a lot of green. Okay, I'm absolutely obsessed. I'm going to wear this over the weekend. It says get off my lawn. Okay, obviously this is completely clashing with my blue tracksuit. I'm going to wear my green leggings this weekend and my green New Balance and then I feel like this little hat would be a really cute little outfit. Well, we're getting major a hat here. I used the volumizing shampoo from Philip Kingsley again and it does exactly what it says in the tin. It gives your hair so much volume. Like, my hair, if I do that, will just sit. I only blow dry my hair today, hence why there's lots of little waves going through it. I try not to use too much heat on it. And there is the second little hat on. I love all of the packaging from Sisters and Seekers. This says your clothes shouldn't cost the air, which is so true. I was definitely having a bit of a green moment when I selected all of these items. So this is one of their bodysuits. It's got a really nice stretch to it, so I'm thinking that's going to be a really nice fit. And I love the racer style. Again, sticking with the green theme, I got these gorgeous joggers from Sisters and Seekers. I just love how they package up all of the parcels with all the nice tissue paper. I am very very excited about this set. So I picked up this green oversized zip up hoodie. It just has a really simple sister and seekers branding on it. I just love an oversized graphic t-shirt and I love the colour of this one. The dark navy against the print is really gorgeous. Navy isn't actually a colour that I wear often. I feel like either dark grey leggings with this, socks, trainers and a trench coat or potentially like going and getting dark navy leggings as well to match would make this a really nice little fit. This package arrived yesterday and I haven't actually opened it yet so I have no idea what's in here. So this is what is inside. I have never tried this brand before and they have kindly sent me their bodyfying shampoo, a texture spray and then a dry shampoo. I absolutely love dry shampoo and I'm always excited to try new dry shampoo. So I'm hoping that this has a really nice scent. There was also this little bag in the package. I cute love that. It's a little water bottle. My agency must have put me on their PR list because I didn't know that package was coming. So thank you so much to Alterna for sending me some of their goodies. So that's all the little bits that I wanted to show you. I'm going to get all these hung up and put away. I think I'm then going to potentially do some organising of the drawers or I might go out and get my trainers and do some organising of that. Chris is working later tonight so I don't have to start the dinner um, for a little while or I might go out a walk. There's so many options. I'm like, do I take myself out a walk? Get some steps in? Hmm. I'm making a new recipe tonight so I think I actually might vlog me doing it because if it turns out the way it's supposed to be then it's going to be a really nice kind of healthy dinner option but it should also taste really nice. Can you hear that? That's ice cream truck. There's like an ice cream van that goes around my street and honestly I find it amazing because we never had one where I used to live. <laughs> managed to get the diffuser open so I've actually popped it on this kind of little floating shelf that we have in the kitchen. I actually originally planned to put a lot of prints on here and to be honest just haven't got round to picking all the frames out and picking all the prints out and getting it all set up. This wall art here is actually also from the home store more. They kindly picked this out and sent this to me back at the start of March and it goes perfectly in the kitchen. So I really like the way that looks on there and I've just popped the diffuser on there just now. I might move it out into the hall, but I feel like the two of them sitting there together looks really nice.
I'm going to not even chat the ears off you this morning because I need to go and collect my mum and the reason I need to collect my mum is because I need to get this lawnmower that is what's behind me to the post office and obviously I can't lift it myself so I've actually got an appointment this morning at Charisma for my skin hence why I am very barefaced the hat on that I got yesterday I've got my wee green leggings on try to do that whole sporty cool vibe probably not pulling off I've actually got an appointment in town and then I was going to go and do some shopping um, just to be wandering the shops I'm feeling like I'm needing some spring bits and I'm away this weekend so I want to go and see if I can get something to wear so that is my plan and because I'm needing help with this my mum's just going to come into town with me anyway um, so we're going to do a wee bit of shopping this morning and yeah I will of course take you with me Morning loves, I have had such a productive little morning, it's Friday, I've got a really fun weekend planned all round, I'm feeling just nice, happy and content, which is a nice way to feel just before the weekend. I've been filming this morning, I actually filmed a little reel of this kind of no makeup makeup that I always do. This is like my favourite kind of makeup to do. I love a full glam look, like this weekend I'm probably going to put on quite a bit of makeup, feel really glam, but for day to day I just really enjoy having minimal products on my skin. I actually put in the caption for the little reel that I've put up that blemishes are normal, pores are normal, having texture on your skin is normal. I feel like we are so used to now seeing so many images of people that are like tweaked in whatever ways or like photos and stuff that are shot in the best light which makes people's skin like I, I myself will take pictures and I don't edit them in any way but because I've taken them in really nice lighting my skin looks better than what it would like if it was all shadowy and I always feel like I'm, I'm the, I do this myself where like I'll compare my skin when it's like in a dull lit area <laughs> um, to somebody who's taking a photo like I said in like the best light and maybe maybe put a bit of face tune on it all that kind of stuff um, even though I, I know like I know myself the tricks of the trade but anyway so I filmed this really soft everyday makeup it's barely any products and I also used the new kind of Charlotte Tilbury dupe that I found in Primark yesterday I'm going to do a Primark haul when I get in um, <clears throat> I didn't have enough time to film that before I went out and also I'm going to be showing a lot of products and I need my nails done. Which brings me on to where I'm off to now. If you've been watching the vlogs for a while and if you followed me on Instagram for a while you will know that I have been going to nail co for I think five years. Like I have been a nail co loyal forever and unfortunately they are closing so I was super gutted to hear that they were closing and it's so sad because so many small businesses have been hugely affected by everything that's been on with Covid and yeah it's just it's really gutting but the exciting thing is that some of the girls that worked in Neoco are opening up their own little salon so that is where I'm going today it's their temporary location I'm going to but yeah I'll take these with me I'm getting a full set of acrylics done today because my nails had naturally grown so long like I'd grown them since the summer last year um, and then when I had Covid I kind of picked them I was just feeling really stressed out and anxious and other lot and basically just bit my nails off and ripped my nails off and yeah I really enjoyed having the almond shaped acrylics on so I'm going to get them on again and yeah I think I'm going to just do like a nice wee French or maybe a faded French something nice and simple so like I said I'll take these with me and then we'll do a pre-mark haul when I get home Going up me had my nails done look how 
stunning these are i'm really enjoying the oval shape just now so the nail company is literally just next to central station guys it's so so easy to find i actually just parked if you know where the grill in the corner is i parked my car there um and then it was like a two second walk that's so nice, I'm glad I treated myself to that. So I was needing a wee boost, I didn't have my coffee this morning, so I thought I'll go get myself a nice wee coffee and now I'm going to drive home. I need to film a little pre-mark haul that you're going to see in the next part of this video. Um, I then have some cleaning to do, I also need to organise my outfits for the weekend. So rather than sitting rambling here for ages, I'm going to get going and I will see you when I'm showing you the bits from pre-mark. To be back home, I did have a quick little break for some lunch. I made a really nice salmon salad, I included that in last week's vlog. Let me know if you want to see see more foodie bits on here because I have been trying out new recipes and I've been really enjoying it like I really like cooking if you want me to do a wee bit more in depth of what I'm actually cooking then just let me know I've always included some snippets this week of one of the dinners but yeah like I've not really done like a step by step it's just me cutting onions but anyway <laughs> it's the part of the vlog that I'm sure you've all been waiting for a big pre-mark haul is about to commence I'll start with the homeware bits first because I have already shown these on my homepage. Um, if you don't follow my homepage, by the way, I'll leave it on the screen here. I share a lot more homey bits over there, all my interiors and stuff. If I see anything in the shops that's like home related, I share on there um, rather than my main account. So yeah, if you're more interested in home bits, then make sure you go and follow my home account. So I did film a lot of little bits when I was in Primark and I should mention it was their Gile Street Primark that I was in. I tend to find that their stock is a lot more up to date. Let's take a wee minute. For the vase, I'm sorry, this has walked straight out of Zara home into my house. Like, that is absolutely stunning. I actually have sat this downstairs on the TV unit. It goes perfectly in the living room, but now I'm kind of seeing it in here. I'm thinking, could I bring it up here? This room's a lot more neutral white, whereas downstairs has got more pops of black. This is giving me like Barcelona spring summer vibes. Don't know where I've got that from, but that is what this vase is saying to me. It's a really gorgeous quality, love the colours, and it's a really good size. The price tag's actually fallen off this, but I believe it was £10. Um, it definitely wasn't like £20 or anything like that. Looks like something you'd find in H&M or Zara home, but Primark home is just really up their game this year, and I'm so here for it. I love to switch everything up in the house all the time and like change things around, and when you're buying accessories that are like £6, £10, you don't feel as bad like moving things around or buying extras because it's not like costing you an absolute fortune to be in with. So yeah, pre-mark home. Keep doing what you're doing because we're all loving it. Next up is this gorgeous ribbed candle. This candle, I've already said it on stories, but I feel like this candle could potentially be like those big white candles that we all went mental for. I'm still obsessed with my big bergamot candle. It smells amazing. I've got two, one that I've lit and one that I haven't. Um, also, actually, just while I'm on here, see the miniature versions that they were doing that said like relax and stuff. Again, I bought, bought them at the time, but they're selling them off in the pre-mark in Argyle Street for £2 rather than £4. But back onto this candle. Look at the gorgeous detail on that. It's matte black, which is always a winner for me. Love the shape of it. It's really unusual. And then also has black wax. For reference, will hold it next to my head. Now, I have a really big head so you can see it's very sizable it's also really heavy it's got a really nice scent this is a vanilla scented candle they did also have this in a white they have it in they did also have this in white they do also do this in a smaller size so if the big one isn't something that you're looking for then they also have it in a smaller size but like i said be quick i've already been talking to a lot of yous on dm since i put these up on my stories yesterday and yous are all like what pre-mark where am i finding these so yeah be fast because i feel like they might all sell out the last little homeware purchase i made was this set of Place mats. Now I got four for £3.50 which I was really chuffed about because most of the time when you get um, place mats it comes in a pack of two whereas there's four in this. These just caught my eye because I have been looking for place mats. I already have black ones in this same style but I love how these kind of look like faux linen um, and yeah just think they'll be nice on the table for coming into spring summer. I'll move on to the storage bits I picked up next because I feel like that's still kind of in keeping with the homeware vibes. Looking for lots of kind of different ways to store all my makeup. I have actually, I'm looking at it over there, I've got a big pile of storage boxes like plastic dividers and stuff that I have already picked up but I've just not got around to organising all the makeup yet Um, that can be a separate video maybe actually because that might be quite fun to watch I love watching people like organise it really motivates me like I put videos like that on when I'm doing organisation but anyway that's me going off on a tangent basically I have actually been looking for a lot of different storage systems online and as much as I love buying things online sometimes it's just better to like physically see something so you can envisage if it's going to work for you or not so basically i've been looking for ways to store my lipsticks and lip glosses 
and I stumbled across this in Primark. Now I've only bought one, but I think I'm going to go back and get two. So this is obviously an acrylic organiser for lipsticks and lip glosses. I'm already so excited for these to be in the drawer and being able to look at all my lipsticks all organised. Like I just know that's going to give me so much happiness. This little organiser was £3.50. Like I said, I'm starting with one, but I already know I'm going to need more. Then I literally let out like a very excited little squeal when I seen these because I almost bought these on Amazon the other day and then I think I got distracted and went on to something else. But these are for your palettes. So all your eyeshadow palettes can sit up nice and organised in here. As you can see, the back's going to hold your taller, bigger eyeshadow palettes and then you're working your way forward to your smaller eyeshadow palettes. Right now, all the eyeshadow palettes I have are just currently like packed up on top of each other and it makes it kind of hard to see what palettes I have. It means that I end up using some more than others. I already decided I wanted to get these kind of little dividers to organise the palettes but I wasn't entirely sure how big they were going to be and if they were going to fit in the drawers so when I seen these and I seen the actual size of them I was like get them in my basket so I've actually picked up two of these and they were £5 each. I always use these microfiber reusable cloths when taking off my makeup. These work really well with my cleansing balms and they're really gentle around your eyes. I actually went out yesterday with the plan of buying lots of new makeup and before we went round to House of Fraser I ended up going into Primark and finding a lot of like dupes of the products that I was going to buy so what I decided to do was buy all of the dupes instead of going around and spending an absolute fortune on the real deal and then it means that way I can review them for you guys as well and let you know if I notice a difference or whatnot. So one of the things that I was needing a little top up of was my MAC Fix Plus setting spray and um, I swear by that I love it on my skin. I did actually pick one of these up last year and really liked it so I decided to get another one. It's the Hydrating Priming Spray and it is hyaluronic acid infused with orange and wild mint fragrance. I'm really needing some new makeup brushes and to be honest I wasn't actually able to find some of the brushes I was looking for. I'm looking for a new foundation brush because the one that I have and I absolutely swear by is starting to shed on my face and it's getting quite annoying so it is an elf brush so I'm probably just going to go and buy the exact same one again. But I did have a little look in Primark yesterday to see if they had any other brushes that would have been suitable but I didn't really see any but I found this one which is a little blending brush for your eyes but I actually thought this would be really good for doing my concealer under my eyes and this brush was only a pound. Also only a pound and one of my favourite 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 products from Primark Beauty. I have so many of these lip liners, they go on so well, I've got one on just now. They go on so smooth, they blend really well, the colour is really buildable, they aren't drying on your lips, like just all the things that you're looking for in a lip liner, these have it. Colour payoff is also amazing. So I actually decided to pick up a different colour. Usually I get toast and spice, but this time I decided to go for vintage rose. So it's a wee bit more of a kind of pinky mauvey colour. I have it on my lips just now, but I have kind of blended it out with my finger. So one of the products I was actually going out to buy yesterday was the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wand. And I think it was in either pink gasm or peach gasm. Basically a kind of creamy cheese tint that can be used as a highlighter it gives you a gorgeous glow i just love wearing really light makeup that gives you that kind of bronzy healthy glow and that's why i wanted to go and try out that charlotte tilbury product but like i said i ended up in primark first and of course they've come out with some sort of dupe this is their cream wand with a luminous finish i picked this up in the shade peach the concept is the exact same packaging looks pretty much the same and the little applicator at the end also looks the same. Now, I tried this this morning and I did a little reel with it. I'm really impressed. This is definitely a product I'm going to use often, but I haven't obviously tried the Charlotte Tilbury one to compare if it is an exact dupe. But as a product on its own, I really like it. would definitely recommend that you just go and try it out. And it was only £4. So if it is an exact dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury, then we're on to a winner. Just swatching that there for you so you can see the colour. It's a gorgeous peachy tone with some nice kind of gold shimmer through. I applied it earlier before I went out so you can see I've got a nice kind of little glow to my cheeks. If you've watched any of my previous Primark hauls then you know I'm such a fan of their gold hoops and I actually haven't bought any hoops in a long time. I am still needing to organise all of my jewellery to my jewellery section in my wardrobe but I haven't actually bought the trays yet so that's why I haven't got around to doing it. So we're actually going away this weekend and I wanted a nice set of hoops. So I've seen this set and thought these would be really really nice. They were only £2. But I basically picked these up and then ran away from the jewellery because I knew I would end up picking up way too much as always. Then the last two little things I'm going to show you from this haul are actually clothing pieces. I actually wanted to pick up some kind of spring outfits yesterday but to be honest I've never really seen anything. There was a lot of gorgeous bits. There was really nice bodysuits, the kind of Zara dupe bodysuits. They had green ones, 
blue ones. You might have nailed the bright colours for this summer. Also, you will have seen from my vlog that the pyjama section right now, the pyjama section right now, I had to do everything within my power not to buy a set of pyjamas. There were so many cute bits for spring. They had a lot of like nice little florally pyjamas. They had like long pyjama trousers with little cute vest tops. They had really, really gorgeous Bottega green satin pyjamas. But You'll see from my organising video of my wardrobe, which is coming soon by the way, that I certainly should not be buying any new pyjamas. So, with that in mind, I did not purchase any pyjamas. And I'm really proud of myself. I didn't buy any pyjamas, I didn't buy any pants, and I didn't buy any bras. But I probably will go at some point and treat myself to maybe even a new house coat because they had some gorgeous long satin house coats that were just screaming summer to me and I could just imagine myself floating about in them. Um, but yeah, unfortunately I didn't buy them. But instead I bought these two wee bits that I'm going to show you. I got this oversized varsity styled sweatshirt. I really like the neckline on this. But that makes it a wee bit more kind of fancy, dressed up almost, if you're going for brunch or something, which is exactly what I want to wear this for. I got this in an extra large because I like my jumpers to kind of come long on my legs um, and hide like my bum and the tops of my thighs. Well, that's just a fit I enjoy. But I've actually just went and ordered a pair of leggings from Pretty Little Thing this morning. They are the same dark navy as this book. My idea is to wear the dark navy leggings, this sweatshirt, my nice trench coat, socks and trainers, like, you know the vibe. That's the kind of clothes I like to wear. We're, we're going away this weekend and I want something cute to wear for brunch. So I was thinking that would be a nice little look. Obviously from the other haul in the vlog, you'll know that I'm loving green at the minute. And there's just something about marrow, grey and green together I really like. So again, planning to wear this with leggings, socks, trainers, trench coat look, and I'll probably chuck on one of my new Sisters and Seekers hats, maybe the one that says Lucky across the front. But items like that are just so easy to chuck on day to day, make you feel a wee bit more put together, but you're still comfy, um, and that is always my vibe. So that is everything that I picked up from Primark. I hope you enjoyed that little haul, and what I'm going to do is end the vlog here, because I am going away this weekend, and I'm going to start a separate vlog because I don't want this current vlog to be 10,000 years long. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching another video by me. I really, really appreciate anybody that takes any time out to watch any of my videos. Like, it really does mean the world. And then when I get feedback from you guys, or if you send me a message saying you're enjoying watching the vlogs, or if you tag me while you're watching the vlogs, like, it honestly makes my day. So yeah, a big thank you if you have made it to the end of this video. Do let me know in the comments below, or if you want to message me, um, what other videos you'd like to see. I'm going to do some more makeup videos on here this month, and I am going to do an updated q and I feel like I've been saying that since the start of the year, but because I was unwell, and then we took a wee bit of break off of YouTube, I've just not got around to doing it. So I will be doing an updated Q&A soon because I know a lot of you guys are new here and yeah, I'm going to reintroduce myself to you. So enough rambling, I'm going to end the vlog here and I will see you in another one really, really soon.